it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio, and I'm sharing with you day 20 of the hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona Daily Art Journaling Challenge from October 2021. This is from our group that I moderate with Peg Robinson over on Facebook. This is a daily art journaling challenge, and we have prompts. The prompts are names. Um, a first and a last name, and the prompts should lead you to uh, a character in your mind with a story that you might want to create in your art journal. All about daily art journaling, getting in the practice of doing something creative every day. It's good for your mental health, it's good for your physical health, and it's good for just everything. So we recommend it. So if you have been playing along, thank you very much. If you haven't, you can still start. You can do uh, one page or two pages or five pages. You can share them by using the hashtag on any social media. And you can also, of course, share them in our group. We have an album that stores them for posterity. And yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. So today's prompt for day 20 was Vita Mischievous. And... That just sounds like a really fun girl, right? I mean, the first name, Vita, means life. I mean, <laughs> it means life. And the second name, mischievous, you know, you know people who are mischievous. Maybe you have a pet who's mischievous. Maybe you have a grandchild or a child who is mischievous. Maybe a neighbor, uh, someone who's just, just willing to do anything for the joke to um, encourage you to have fun and get out of your rut. Those people are awesome. So I decided that Vita Mischievous must be the life of the party, the person who always has the jokes, always pulling the pranks, and um, wants to stay out way too late. And maybe she's not the most responsible person, but she's so much fun that you just want to hang out with her. So because that's my story, I decided to... Uh, make something, a background that's just really, really got a lot of vibrancy, a lot of bright colors, a lot of pattern, a lot of texture, visual texture, not physical texture. So I just started out with um, brushing on some different colors and color blocks. There's a teal, there's a thalo blue, there's green, gold, and um, yellow. Yellow to me is always like a color that's life. I don't know why I think that. Green too. Green means life to me, but yellow means like sunshine and brightness and, and happy. And so those were the colors that I picked. Then I did some mark making with stencils. I'm not sure which stencils I picked, but I'm pretty sure they're, well, one of them is a stencil girl stencil. That one's a uh, craft, crafters workshop TCW stencil with the Harlequin on that. Got it out the other day because it used to be my very, very favorite and it's still on my desk. <laughs> so still using it. Um, and then the other one I think might have been a stencil club stencil maybe. I'm not sure. But um, these are mark making stencils. They have little hash marks and circles and things like that on them. So just a good thing to make marks with and so I'm using Naples yellow and white and um, sky blue, just kind of lighter colors to make just a bunch of different pattern all over the page. This is fun to do. Um, you can do this yourself by just uh, doing interpretive, not interpretive, <laughs> that's dancing, intuitive painting. Wow, okay, it's gonna be one of those days. Um, intuitive painting just means like not using thought, but using your intuition to just apply colors and marks. And um, it's really a fun process if you can really just disconnect your brain from um, overthinking about what you're doing. And that's, it's not an easy thing to do, but it makes a, a really fun master board or something like that. Or in this case, a background for my art journal page. So then once I was finished with my stenciling, I got out a white acrylic paint pen and I'm just like kind of circling some of the marks, uh, maybe making dots, tracing around some different things. This is fun. This just is pure fun, which is perfect for this Vita Mischievous page because she's all about pure fun. 
pure fun and sunshine. So I did, before I started the process of making the background, I pulled out a few of the pieces from the collage papers that we shared in our Art Joy of Sharing uh, group at the beginning of this challenge. We had some collage papers that you could use royalty free and um, cut them out for your own purposes. So I grabbed a few different things. There's some hands, some legs, uh, a head, and um, oh, the dog. The dog that's in the graphic uh, that says stay weird. It's like a dog direct dressed up as um, a gangster, I guess. He's got like a hoodie and a chain around his neck. He's like really cool, but he also could be the life of the party. So um, picking those pieces informed the color choices that I made. And by the way, I'm now, I now did some like intuitive mark making with my uh, Stabilo All Pencil. And now I'm just kind of filling in some of the spaces with really watered down black paint to kind of break up the page because it's of course real busy. So anyway, the predominant colors that I saw in the pieces that I picked were kind of oranges and reds and pinks. And so I picked my background to be made with the opposite color or the, it's called the coordinating color, but it's the opposite on the wheel. So if you look at red and uh, red, red orange at the top, you'll get um, green and green blue at the bottom. So uh, those two go together really well. So I do have this one little um, section on the background that has the, the orange dots, but everything else is those same um, orange, I mean, not orange, green, green, blue, uh, green, yellow type colors in the background. And so then that should make the things that I put on stand out more. I'm not going to say the P word. You guys know what the P word is, but I'm sure you're all saying it in your head. It makes it p p something. <laughs> Hate that word. Everybody overuses it, so I never, never use it. But you know the word I'm talking about. So once this is all done and dried up, I've got, I've got you know, spatters and I've got odd shapes. And I just think this is looking really fun. It, it looks like Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras threw up all over it. So that's good. That's what I was going for. <laughs> I do some black edging around the edges just to, to frame in the page because I enjoy that look. And then my last little mark making is to put my own fingerprints. That's a really uh, good mark making tool that just happens to be attached to your hand. You just dip it in paint. I would recommend that you put on some art guard or gloves in a bottle on your hands if you're going to do a lot of finger painting because that the chemicals in the paint will soak into your skin and that's not that great. So now I've got my little funny dog. I think he might be maybe a pug or maybe a French bulldog. I'm not sure. But anyway, he could be a pug thug because he's dressed, you know, <laughs> the way he's dressed. He's also got something on his feet, but I couldn't really tell from the picture what they were. But it's been cut out and I'm gluing it down with a matte gel medium because I really want to get it good and stuck because it's going over the crease, which um, I didn't want my main character to be on the crease. And if I'd put the dog over to the left, which was my first inclination, then the, the main character, Vita, would be on the crease. So I made the dog be more towards the center and I can build my character who happens to be sitting on him. She rides him. Uh, she rides him into battle, which to her battle means like, you know, tequila shots with lots of lime and salt and um, <laughs> maybe some girly Manhattans occasionally uh, while she's being the life of the party. So um, she rides her dog into battle. I'm not sure how he's so much bigger than she is, but that's just... This is what happens inside my head. You're getting a, a front row seat of the craziness inside my head. So I grabbed a piece of, a couple pieces of painty paper. I made her a little blue mini skirt. It's probably denim. And then a little tank top, um, you know, club clothes, tight little outfit. She's got some crazy tights on. Uh, they're, they're pink and red striped, which I really enjoyed, and some platform black patent leather shoes. 
And then she's also got uh, elbow length red opera gloves. I mean, of course, that's what you would wear to the party. And of course, a party hat, because why not? So I kind of tacked my main pieces together so that they, they would stay down when I glued them. And then I put on some glue and I kind of just, I didn't do the edges as much so that I could tuck all the little other pieces in. And I'm just gluing them with a Yoohoo glue stick. But I want to be able to tuck the arms and the legs. So I left the edges of that body part a little bit unglued. And I'll go back in and put some more glue underneath, press it down. Yoohoo glue stick sticks down fine enough for a art journal page. This thing is just going to be shut in a book. So there's no w worry about, you know, it coming up. Although, it, I mean, it could. You never know. So then I cut out some old paper, which it, it's from a Dixon, the edge of a dictionary page, which looks almost the color of that uh, printed um, head. Uh, that was actually from Happy Mail at one point, and I don't know what it's printed on. I think it's cardstock because it does kind of pill up a little bit when I put some color on it. So you'll see that. But um, for the scanned version, you guys can print it with a... a laser printer and it will be perfectly fine. The arms and legs are on the collage sheet and those those you can print as well and, and also the hat. So once I get everything stuck down, um, time is ticking. I'm going to have to put this aside because as you can see the light is coming in from the window and it's starting to mess up the camera and it'll get a little worse. <laughs> as it goes before I finally decide to give up and uh, finish it the next day. I do these a little bit early so that I can do, process the video before the day comes. So this was done uh, the day before. So then I start to do my shadowing and I realize that what I really need is to just kind of lighten up the background around the main figures because they really don't stand out as much as I wanted to them to. So I put some titanium white and some Naples yellow and I just use my water brush to kind of brush around the edges of my main characters and then I use a baby wipe to blend. So I'm just brightening it up kind of like a halo around the main characters which are Vita and the doggy. And then after that I can put my shadows on and it will really make them stand out a little bit more from the background. I think it's because I put black in the background so then the black shadows didn't seem to stand out as much. So I don't usually do this step but it needed to be because I put such a crazy uh, background on it. So then of course um, I decided to put shadows. Instead of using my usual Stabilo All I ended up using a uh, India ink pen which is a Pentel pocket brush. I recommend this product, love it. Uh, it can make fat and thin and any anywhere in between marks and it's permanent but if but in, if you have a couple seconds in which to blend it which I'm blending with a um, water tank brush. There we go. Wow. So you can see my desk is getting crazier and crazier. So this is the next day. The next morning, the 19th, I finished this one up. I had added uh, some words from the Tim Holtz Snarky Pack. It says, I think my guardian angel drinks. <laughs> and then also a word, a uh, little, little uh, cutout that says, so fun, and a little heart. I need to color, uh, little, add a little bit of uh, colorization. I, I wanted pink cheeks, and I started to color and then realized that this paper is not going to take it. Um, that's a Pitt Artist Brush Pin, which is also an Indian ink pin, so it's permanent. I also use that to color the party hat uh, red and blue and yellow. And then I think the only other thing I did, I know I added a few highlights with my white acrylic pin, and I know that I um, kind of pumped up the gold chain on the dog with a gold Posca pin. So yeah, I think I think that's all I did. 
So this one was day 20, Vita Mischievous. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, subscriptions are going down in numbers. I don't know why. So apparently YouTube is not finding my content to recommend to people because I know that there's lots more people out there who like art journaling. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, also, you can leave me a comment or a question below. I get back to you within 24 hours. And um, all those things, of course, help YouTube recommend my channel to other people who might not have found me yet, might be interested in my content. So here comes the gold pin, um, just jazzing up his little neck chain and her, her neck chain and her eyes with gold. Gold. And, oh, and I wrote the word in red. Uh, I wrote, wrote the words Vita Mischievous in red. Posca pin. And that was it. So here comes the close-ups. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>